Hey guys, it's Goose from Get Your Geek On, and I just got done with free comic book day over at Dragon's Lair at Fredericksburg and Medical. There's 50 comics out, and you they will allow you to get one of everything. Now, they also have Chris Allen here at Dragon's Lair at Fredericksburg and Medical, and he has done some... Uh, stuff with Marvel Comics. He did the he helped with the art for uh, Avengers Guardians of the Galaxy or Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 prelude comics that tie into the movies. They also helped with the Inhumans relaunch. So come and check out Chris Allen. There's also some other great artists here as well. Of course um, Alamo City Comic Con out in force. So that'll be so that's cool. Uh, again we will be giving away a three pack of we will be giving away actually a three-day pass, excuse me. We'll be giving away some passes every month on Get Your Geek On leading up to Alamo City Comic Con in October because that is October 26th through the 28th. So you want to make sure to watch Get Your Geek On every Thursday at facebook.com slash GYGO radio for your chance to win. Now, I said there were 50 comics out there for, um, for free comic book day, but before I get to that, I want to tell you this. Uh, I found this. This artist is here this today. And Savage Sas Sasquanaut. Bigfoot in space. With a worth certainly something worth exploring, that is for sure. And um I don't have any I had his card earlier. I cannot find it right now. But that's okay. So what oh here it is. Here it is. So right there. Right there. Um Issue 1 is available now, so I think I might have to check that out because that sounds like fun. So what is available during Free Comic Book Day? Well, of course, me, you know I'm a DC guy. You know, I, I enjoy Marvel from time to time, but I'm not a whole lot into the, a lot of the independent stuff, right? But Free Comic Book Day is a chance for you to try something you've never tried before, especially if they don't limit you on the amount of comics you can get. Um, this Dragon's Lair allows you to get one of everything, which is 50. There's 50 of them out here. So I picked me up quite a few um adventure time i've never seen adventure time but i've i'll check this out because i got a free entry and it's only going to take up a few moments of my time so no big deal there right um i also picked up um miraculous with uh, ladybug and cat noir again not something i usually get but because you know this is something new and also if i find somebody who likes it that, that didn't get a chance to get their comic book you can always give this to them as a gift so it's a great thing. It's a, I'm not saying you should go to free comic book day for gift shopping. I'm just saying it's maybe an added side benefit. All right. Um, Howard Lovecraft book of summer fun. So check. So that's another one that's available. And uh, so, and then the steam legions of Oz is now an animated movie that I have to check that out. That's for sure. Sorry. Ron Perlman, Ron Perlman, uh, Beauty and the Beast, Hellboy, and Sons of Anarchy fame. William Shatner and Julianne, Julianne Hugh. So June 5th, 2018 on that. I'm going to have to check that one out. Definitely check out the Steam Engines of Oz. Then we got SpongeBob. I'm not a SpongeBob fan, but I know people who are. So this may be something I can give them. As a, hey, I know you like SpongeBob. Uh, Bob's Burgers, again, not something I can check out. Never actually seen an episode of Bob's Burgers but something for me to check out and see what all the fuss is about. I've heard about it. I've just never seen it. And then we've got Comics Friends Forever. Something new. The, so there's that. I, I did get one of everything, including the all-ages stuff. So, you know, that's why that's why you're seeing some of that here as well. James Bond, 007. Uh, new comic coming out with Warren, Warren Ellis writing it, I would imagine. Um... So that'll be fun. It's done by Dynamite. Dynamite does some really good stuff with some good uh, licensed tie-ins. They did a good. They've done well with those over the years as well. Uh, Berlin, a work of historical fiction. Historical fiction is always fun for me. I like history, and sometimes you know setting places in a historical context, work and working within that context, is really fun for me to watch. Uh, Worlds of Aspen, D Dissension, War Eternal, and Inway. The debut of two all-new Aspen comic series. So you actually get basically pilots sometimes on Free Comic Book Day. So that's good. You get to you get to actually see the pilot episode or the pilot, um, what they want to do. 
Um, then we got this one, which is um, Street Angel's Dog. Interesting. Interesting. And then there's an ad for Street Angel Goes to Juvie. Interesting. Again, something I'll have to check out. Not really my normal cup of tea, but whatever. Uh, Strangers in Paradise, number one. Also available. So, uh, Riverdale, based on the hit CW series. I've been watching Riverdale. I like it. It's a it's a d grittier, darker version of the Archie universe that we all come to know and love over the years. So, it's on the CW uh, on, thir on Wednesday nights. And then, of course, when the season wraps here before too long, it'll be on Netflix. So, cer certainly check out this Riverdale comic and uh, check out the Riverdale series on CW35. And our friends over at the CW comic book crew uh, are found at the CW35 San Antonio page every Monday. Uh, silver. And it's brought up by Dark Planet. So, that'll be something that I check out. And then My Hero Academy. And now this is an this is an anime one, so the the pages are actually on the left instead of on the right. So that's that's an interesting way to publish. Then we have Invasion done by Chapter House. This guy looks a little bit like another armored character that we know, but again, haven't read it yet. This could be this is uh, something new, so we're certainly want to check that out and see if maybe I need to add that to my sub list. Street Fighter 2 Ultra from Udon and Capcom. If you like Street Fighter. Street Fighter typically does really well on free comic book day. They, they, they bring it. Uh, Overwatch. Uh, are you gamers out there? There's an Overwatch comic available today on free comic book day. And um, this is from Dark Horse. Uh, Dark Horse, as you know, used to have the Star Wars license, uh, did Buffy for a long time, and, and the tie-ins there. There is also, a on the back, an ad for the Hellboy Omnibus Edition, also by Dark Horse. So, you know, Overwatch fans, comic form, go for it. Uh, we've got also, let's see what else is not, uh, Relay. And this is done by Aftershock. Re don't know anything about it. Want to check it out and see what we've got there. They also look like they have some pretty good artists and good stories coming up. So Relay from Aftershock, certainly something to pick up and take a look at. Again, I've read none of these. I just picked them up just now and I'm just going through them with you. So bear with me here. DC Nation Zero. Uh, this was available for 25 cents on Wednesday. Uh, some stores are giving it as part of Free Comic Book Day. So you may have to pay a quarter to get it. Whichever. There's three great stories in here. One involving the Joker, one involving Superman, and one involving the Justice League. Uh, all, of, all of which serve as a prelude to the upcoming events. Superman's got um, the Man of Steel series with Michael, Brian Michael Bendis and then the soft reboot. Batman, of course, this is the wedding of Batman and Catwoman coming up in June. And also uh, No Justice, which is going to be a weekly series that kind of resets the Justice League as we know them. And that's coming up pretty soon as well. That one's going to be fun. And then Marvel. Marvel does really good on Free Comic Book Day. We've got um, an Avengers plus we've got an Avengers one here, plus uh, Captain America. So Captain America on the back. So let's see here. Let's let's take a look. Okay, so you'll read the Avengers one first, and then go into Captain America. Uh, let's see who wrote who wrote this one for Marvel. Let's take a look here. If it even says it may not say right just yet. I know Avengers number one, the new Avengers number one, Earth Mighty Heroes came out on Wednesday. I enjoyed it. You got to see Cap, uh, Steve, Tony, and Thor, um, the unworthy Thor, back together for the first time in a while. So that was really good. Got to see Celestials. Got to see uh, the Avengers 1 million BC together. So that was fun. Uh, from This one's from Z uh, Paper Cut. It's called The Only Living Boy. Interesting. I want to check that out. And then we have The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, Rhino's on the cover. Looks like Captain Boomer. Looks like a boomerang guy and a female Electro and Kingpins on that on the cover. It's interesting. Uh, learn about everything Infinity. Infinity is a n new crossover event that they're doing this year uh, with uh, for Marvel. Of course, it's going to involve the Infinity Stones, Infinity Gems. Something involving Infinity, the Infinity stuff, is going to be 
again this summer. Um, every once in a while, Marvel does that. They dust off the old Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity Stones or Gems and, you know, do another Infinity stuff. And especially with Infinity War, um, breaking all kinds of box office records. Yeah, Infinity is going to be a big deal this year. Uh, this one right here from Titan Comics, A Brief History of Tank Girl. Of course, you know, Tank Girl was a major motion picture back in the 90s. The 90s was a weird time, man. I'm telling you. 90s and early 2000s, there was some weird stuff going on. Um, let's see here. Shadow Man. Shadow Man from Valiant. Again, not something I've ever read before, but going to give it a shot. Because it's free. Free comic book day is a great time to try new things, to read new books, to learn about new things. Uh, let's see here. We've got Doctor Who. And this one's going to look like that story is from the from Peter Capaldi's Doctor, David Tennant's Doctor, and Matt Smith's Doctor, all right here. So we want to make sure to check that out. And they do have, uh, the people who do Doctor Who, which is Titan Comics as well, they actually have different series based on different Doctors. So there's like a 12th Doctor series, an 11th Doctor series, 9th Doctor series they've had for a while. So um, Titan Comics does really good with Doctor Who, so you want to check that out again. Doctor Who comic, free comic book day, can't go wrong with that. World's Greatest Cartoonist. This was free as well. Again, I haven't looked at it yet, but hey, if it's nothing but artwork, I'm okay with it. Um, which, there is some um, some dialogue, some comic book type art in here, just from brief brief glances. So, yeah, check that out. That'll be fun. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, let's see here. Barrier by Brian K. Vaughn. Brian K. Vaughn, um, formerly with Marvel, he created The Runaways. Uh, Runaway is currently a series on Hulu, so you want to check that out. Uh, it's Brian K. Vaughn. Can't go wrong with uh, Brian K. Vaughn stuff. Uh, we've got a... Oh, Dragon's Lair sticker on here. Maxwell's Demons. Forgive him his genius. Uh, yeah, not normally my normal fare, but we're going to check it out anyway, because it's free. It's free comic book day. Who doesn't like free stuff? Gives you a chance to check things out. Shadow Roads. Interesting. Interesting. Gonna check that out as well. Uh, the Overstreet Guide to Collecting with the Three Stooges on the. This is fun. Overstreet, the Overstreet Comic Guide has always been something that's been fun because it. Back in the day, the Overstreet Comic Guide is what kind of let you know the value of your collection, and now they're given like a little primer, I guess, on how to collect. So, like I said, I'll read it here and uh, maybe give you a little bit more details. We have, from Scout Comics, The Mall, an 80s coming of age crime story. There's gonna be a lot of pastels. Oh my goodness. Gonna be a lot of craziness in that comic because it's the 80s and the 80s was crazy. Uh, we have Malika, Creed and Fury. Uh, again, not normally my cup of tea, not only my fare, but again, we'll give that a shot. And if somebody else likes it, so much the better. Oh, uh, all right. So here's something that's been good. Normally, normally they don't really do big tie-ins for free comic book day for series events or anything like that. However, however, it looks like that was broken today because we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Shattered Grid. So this looks like it's going to be part of the crossover event Shattered Grid currently going on in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Go Go Power Rangers. And of course, this is from Boom Studios. Right there. Uh, so, you know, if you're if you're collecting the Power Rangers or following Shattered Grid, you will want to check out that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers free comic book day because it does tie in to Shattered Grid. Uh, let's see here. We have, looks. Uh, let's see here. Die, kitty, die. I love you to death. Mm. Looks kind of Archie-esque art for your normal Archie comics fans out there. Again, haven't read it yet, so I don't know. Um, but we'll give that, we'll also give that one a shot right there. Let's see here. We've got Ghost in the Shell. Uh, of course, anime. And then um, we had the movie with Scarlett Johansson out there. So Ghost in the Shell, Global Neural Network. It's a completely all new story inside. Um, so, you know, when they include completely all new stories, and especially ones that kind of entice you to pick up the book in the future, that's always fun. We have... Lady Mechanica. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but we'll go with that. And this one right here includes the first story of the Demon of Satan's Alley. Ooh, plus an all-new story, too. 
So, interesting. It looks it's kind of steampunkish, it looks like. Ah. We talked about, we're talking about the show tonight about Hasbro. And some things going on at Hasbro. But one thing that has always been going on on Hasbro is the Transformers. And we got issue zero for free comic book day of Transformers Unicron. Of course, Unicron has taken on several different forms in the Transformers universe over the years. It was first introduced in movie form in the movie in 1986. Of course, the comics treat him a little differently. Uh, Transformers Prime treat him differently. Um, each series has their own different take on Unicron. So we'll see what happens in Transformers Unicron. And this is going to be from IDW. IDW has, hold, has, has had the license for Transformers and G.I. Joe and Mask and a couple of other uh, Hasbro series for years now. So that'll be fun to check out. Uh, this one's by SBI Press. It's called Starburns Presents. Hmm. And let's see here. Featuring Patton Oswalt. Oh, Patton Oswalt's in here. Uh, Dan Harmon, Eric Mescavel, Troy Nixie, Brent Schoonover, and more. Uh, so, if, so if, especially if stand-up comics wrote this then it could be it could be pretty funny and of course Patton Oswalt uh, is the voice of Adam Goldberg on the Goldbergs he's also been in he Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's a funny stand-up comic I enjoy his stand-up sometimes the politics eh, but that's neither here nor there but if you like stand-up comedy Patton Oswalt's there in this book it's called uh, Starburns Presents so check that out we have the Meta Baron Book three, the Meta Gardenist and the Techno Baron. Interesting. And this is put out by Humanoids, it looks like. So humanoids.com. So and that's that, that's actually got a slick cover to it. I mean the cover itself is really slick. And then we have the tick. Tick's been around forever. It started with a animated series and live action series and now has another live action series on Amazon. So if you like a fan of the tick. Free comic book day may be the day for you. Tell you what. Let's see, we've got uh, 2000 AD. This is interesting. We've got Judge Dredd right there. So, and it's rated A for all ages. So, could be Judge Dredd ish. Mm, don't know. And then we've got uh, the Worm World Saga. And this is uh, put out by Cubhouse. Again, this is an all ages book right here. So if you want it, if you're interested in getting your kids or kids you know into comics, but you don't want to have all the um, all the action adventure, all the violence and stuff that is found in your normal comic fair, um, go to your local home, comic book shop and ask them. Hey, what would you recommend for some for a child who's this age, but and I don't want to do the the violent stuff. What would you recommend? And uh, all ages comics have been around for a while and so they can actually guide you towards something to help your child get involved in the wonderful world of comic books so uh, we've got deaf in comics reading without walls interesting we've got let's see here the legend of Korra of course this is the sequel to Avatar the Last Airbender and so if you're a fan of Korra or if you're a fan of the legend of Korra there is a comic book right there, right there for you today, a free comic book day. So your local comic shop will have that available for you, or should. Um, if you are limited to the amount of comics you can buy, of course, that's going to limit what you have. So that's why I'm giving you all 50, so you can pick and choose. And if you're a Legend of the Core, if you're a the Legend of Core fan, you want to pick up that book. We have Invader Zim, which not entirely sure, but. Oni Press, 20 Years of Comics, rated A, so Invader Zim, right there. Never heard of Invader Zim. But it looks like something I probably should have heard of. We've got uh, Crush. So, you saw in Awkward and Brave that surviving middle school isn't that easy, but it's that much harder when you have a crush on someone. Welcome back to the halls of Brary Brook Middle School. This time, Jorge takes the stage. And this is coming, the series itself is launching in fall of 2008, so there's going to be a little preview uh, special there for you. Disney's Princess. This one has our uh, Ariel from The Little Mermaid on the cover. Um, so let's see here. 
So this is probably going to be featuring, yep, it looks like it features her quite a bit in this book. So if you're a Little, little Mermaid fan, or have a child who is, pick that up. Again, I'm doing this because since a lot of comic book stores are limiting what you can get, I want to kind of tell you what's out there so that way you can make wise decisions. And make sure that the comics that you're getting are going to be read or going to be enjoyed by yourself or the people that you are giving these comics to. Next up is Bongo Comics Free For All. So as you can see here, you've got The Simpsons. You've got, and it's uh, all Simpsons all the time from the just by flipping through it. So if you're a Simpsons fan, pick this up. Because not everybody's a fan of everything. Um, so, you know, I tend to stay more in the mainstream stuff myself. But if you are a fan of The Simpsons, that would be a book you would want to pick up. Um, Pokemon, Sun and Moon. Yeah, Sun and Moon. So Pokemon fans, this would be the one, this would be one you want to focus on. And again, just like the other anime one we talked about, it is, um, it is done this way, from the left-hand side. So, fair warning, it's on this side. Then, coming up next, we've got Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas from Tokyo Pop. It's issue zero, Zero's Journey. So again, it's going to be on this, the page is going to be on this side instead of this side so just be aware of that and read it accordingly for the people out there who are a fan of dc superhero girls fear not bam dc superhero girls date with disaster original graphic novel this has a chapter from that 